In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to send files between teacher and students. Um, you can distribute files to all of your students at once or to individual students, and those students can send files back to you. Um, every student can send a file back to you, or maybe just two or three students that need to turn something in can do that. So first, we'll start by um, distributing files to the students. I have my class connected, and you can see that right now I only have one student connected, but You'll have all of your boxes that are here. And one thing that's always important to um, make sure that you're paying attention to is what students you have selected. So right now I have no students selected. And I can tell that because these places where their names are showing is white. If a student is selected, it'll be blue. So if I had just this student selected, whatever commands I give are going to only affect that student. In order to send things to everyone, I either need to stay into this mode and select every student. I can do that by holding down the um, shift key or the control key to select individual students. Um, or I can make sure that nobody is selected. I can just click in this white space to make sure no one is selected. And then I can go to this minimized toolbar. From this toolbar, as long as no one was selected already, whatever I do is going to go to all of my students, to my entire class. So I'm going to go into this mode, and I'm going to go to File Distribution. And when I do that, it's going to give me an op opportunity to choose a file from my computer. So I have all my drives and folders over here. I'm going to go in here to my H drive, and I'm going to choose this um, science template that I want students to write and um, fill in the components of the template and turn it back into me. So I can select the name of the file and then click Add File, or if you double click a file up here, that would also move it to this section down below. I can send several files at once, so it might be a good practice, you know, at the end of the day to push out the files that you want the students to complete as homework. The advantage here, too, is that when you do send students files in this way, they don't need internet access in order to open those files and complete them. If you post the file on a website, like My Big Campus or another tool you might be using, then students will need internet access to retrieve that, and they would have to make sure that they are doing that from school before they leave if they don't have internet from home. So there are some advantages to using this program. And once I have my files here that I want to send the students, I'm going to come over here to the Send button, and I'm going to choose this down arrow so that I can say where I want this file to go. I can send it to the student's desktop. Um, I would probably recommend that you have students create folders on their desktop for every subject area or every class that they take, and then you can send files to their desktop and instruct them to drag that file into the appropriate folder. Another option is to send it to the classroom management folder, which they can access easily on their machine as well. Um, but then the, all of their teachers' file, files would be mixed up together within that folder. So I'm going to um, send it to the classroom management folder because the desktop is pretty obvious. It's going to place the file on their desktop. But I'll send it to this one um, so that you can see what, what that would look like. So when I do that, it says waiting, and then it gave me a status bar, and now it says sent. So I know that my students should have received that file at this point in time. Now, I'll have to create another video tutorial in order to show you the student side of this, but a white box pops up on the student machine, and they can see the file loading into their computer. Um, and then it says finished when they have fully received that. Now, in order for the students to be able to access that file and open it and start working on it, you do have to leave this mode. If you stay in this file distribution window, they can't open up their file. So you have to close out of this, and that will give them complete control of their screen again. Another important point that I need to mention is that you cannot send them a file if it's currently open on your computer. So if you pop open a document and type a writing prompt in it and save it, you need to close that file on your computer before you will be able to send that file to the students. So now I'm going to come back up here um, and I'm going to, I'm, actually I'm going to stay in this mode because I want to show you what happens when the student sends a file to you. So the student can click on the green arrow in their toolbar and they can choose a file that they want to send to you. So maybe you send them a file one day and the next day they're supposed to send it back to you only now it's completed. So 
So I'm going to choose a file on the student end and I'm going to submit it and right there in the corner it says that a, a file has come in from a student. And I can click this to go into my full screen mode and see that file. But I'm also, that won't stay on there forever, so I'm also going to show you how to get to it from here. If I go back to my full version, I can go to File Collection, and you'll notice that when I clicked on that, it moved me to this lower tab right here as well. And here's the file that came in from the student, Homework September 6th. I have to accept it before I actually have a copy of that. So when I accept all, that file has been loaded up here, and I'm going to have a whole list of all the files that are coming in to me. Once again, the student has to have the file closed on their computer before they can send it to you. And you cannot stay in this file collection mode, because as long as you're in this mode, the student isn't going to be able to um, have full access to their computer. So we need to turn this off. And we need to go back to our monitoring screen, which is this tab with the little blue um, boxes on it there. And that gives the student back the full access of their computer. Okay, this is one of those things that um, it's really hard to fully learn until you just try it out with students. So um, give it a try. If you'd like for me to be present when you try this for the first time with students, send me an email. I'll be happy to put you on my schedule. And don't forget, you can always email me or call me with your questions.